Sergeant Gleason and Officer Perez. Is this Tara? This is Tara. Tara, how you doing? I'm Sergeant Gleason. Are you coming? Do you mind if we, yeah, do you mind if we come in for a couple I'm minutes? Thank you very much. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good morning. Hi, good morning. You can come in this way. Well, this okay. is so nice here. <laughs> Hello, it's the air conditioning. is beautiful this time of year, isn't it? So the reason why we're here is uh, we responded to that, that drowning the other day down the pool. And uh, we just want to recognize you for your hard work in bringing that child back. And if it weren't for you, there's a possibility that the child would not be with us today. So we wanted to present you with this coin here. Those are our thanks and for your hard work. Yeah, that is something Something our, our department has recently taken on. It's just an, an effort to recognize citizens who do commendable actions. And certainly uh, the decisions that you made that day, um, or beyond commendable, uh, life-saving. So uh, on behalf of the Cape Coral Police Department, again, we thank you for your service. Yeah. Thank you very so much, sir. Thank ma'am. We really appreciate that. It was thank you. Horrible, horrible day. It was a very bad day. Oh, actually, horrible. I should probably tell you that uh, uh, we have our body video. We are on. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we, uh, we really appreciate it when citizens like you, they, they, they go above and beyond and uh, really just insert themselves into a situation to make, make a better good. So I just reacted. Well, but you, you made a choice to get involved and do that. And so, we, again, we really appreciate that. Um, so, again, it's, it's just a little token of our, our appreciation. There. Uh, how have you been since? You been okay? I mean, I've been a little shaken up just kind of replaying it in my mind mm -hmm. over and over and over again. Could you tell me just a little bit? Because I read the reports. Can you tell me what happened? Um, I was in the deeper end of the pool with my friend. You were in the pool? Yeah, I okay. was in the pool in the deep end. All of a sudden, we just heard screaming. So I was kind of in the deep end this way, and I just looked to hear the screaming, and I looked over at the other side of the pool, and I saw a little boy laying on the side. So I guess they had already pulled him out. Okay. And then I heard someone call my name. So it was someone that I knew on the other side of the pool, because I think she knew I was They knew you were a nurse. Yeah, so then I heard my name being called, saw the boy, and I just jumped out of the pool, like in one jump, and ran, and then I heard somebody say, does anybody know CPR? And I was like, I'm coming, I'm coming. And just ran to the other side of the pool, and from like the second I got out of the pool until it was over, I don't even remember seeing anybody else but the little boy. There it is, you're just focused straight on that I was focused boy. on him from the second I got out of the pool until and you, he started breathing. And you were doing like CP, like a um, compressions yeah, and got, life? When life. I first came up, I just dropped to the ground. Father was doing compressions, so I told him I'll take over. Yeah. But the compressions weren't working, so I was like, I have to breathe. So breathe. I just knocked him out. There it is. Yeah. yeah. And then what happened? I mean, it took. It felt like it took forever. He was turning blue. His right. eyes were old. I mean, he had no pulse. Um, so and then I, something miraculous happened. I mean, yeah. He just. I mean, I just kept breathing, breathing. You know, two breaths, pumps, whatever. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, his mouth foamed, and then I was like, we're not there yet, because his eyes were still closed. And then. Just kept breathing, then all of a sudden he threw up. So we rolled him to his side, scooped out his mouth. He still wasn't back yet. Flipped him back over, continued mouth to mouth. He just kept vomiting, but still didn't wake up. And then all of a sudden he just, his eyes opened. And I didn't know if it was a reflex. And like, I still wasn't like convinced that he was alive yet. Right. So I just kept going, and then all of a sudden he was like this. You saw him. And I said, and then his face like wasn't blue anymore. Pinked up. Yeah. Wow. I'm wow. Like, okay, I'm getting good. goosebumps. You're just talking I, about it. I. I know. I'm, I still do. I'm like, okay, we're good. We're good now. And I just looked <sighs> at the mother like in the eye. I mean, because obviously she was so upset. Right. And I just wanted like I just looked at her directly and I said, he's alive. He's alive. Yeah. He's alive. He's alive. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Reading the report did not do that justice. By the way, it was that's, that's an amazing story. Um, I yeah. And I don't even remember. I mean, there were so many other people helping, and I just don't even remember anything else that was going on. Oh, um, I remember, like, I remember you showing up, yeah. but I remember just looking, and then so I heard something, and then I just was like, okay. Wow. Uh, your main focus was making sure that kid was okay. Yeah. And you did a great job doing it. So. 
Well, we again, just moved here too, and I'm like, we do appreciate that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shut the body, the, the, oh, the body, yeah, body video up here at this point, but. Uh,